Hello loves, I'm grateful to have another opportunity to share with you my experience, knowledge, and wisdom during our ascension process. I am now accepting applications for Twin Flame relationship with me, conmigo, yes. I've been telling myself for the past four days, if not now, when. Uh, many people have asked me, why are you not in a relationship? You know, you have your life together. I mean, not really. <laughs> No one does, really. Um, however, people see me and they're like, why are you not in a relationship? And, you know, sometimes I ask myself that. And the question is that I'm not committed. And making this video, uh, it would be a reminder to myself and definitely a reminder to the universe, you guys, and source that I am committed. I want my twin flame. I desire my twin flame. I want to become a power couple to, to really just, going hard, you know, hard. I'm, I've been playing very soft and I really want to just go hard. Uh, so I'm just ready. So this is an application. If you answer yes to all these questions and no to the last one, then please message me. I've been looking for you. Let's start a conversation. Uh, I'm just tired, really. I'm just tired of going on dates, on meeting people, and knowing that it's just not going to work. You know what I mean? Like, you just know it's not going to work. And so I'm just putting out this application. And, yeah, and if, if you answer yes to all of them and no to the last one, then please message me. And I think I've said that two times, but uh, I'm Generation Y, and I'm going to use this medium as a platform to share with you and to share with everyone how I'm feeling and my plans for the future, for the now. <laughs> okay, so I wrote down the questions. Okay, let's start. So number one, do you know who you are and where you come from? Okay, and I'm not talking about what you are like, oh, I'm an architect and I make buildings and I'm from Houston, Texas, or I'm a fashion designer and I make fashion bags and I'm from California or something. No, 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 no. Okay, that's what you are and what you do who you are and where you come from, okay? Because if you want to get technical, then you can talk about your uh, past lives, okay? And that it can, okay, you can talk about that if you believe in reincarnation or whatnot. But if you know what I'm talking about, then you answered yes, and you know where I'm going with this, right? So second question is, are you awakened? If you're half awakened, then that, that should be in there. If you're half awakened or awakened, yes, then that's a qualification. I've gone on dates before, and it's really hard. It's not hard to relate to someone who is not awakened. It's just if you're wanting a companion and trying to go on like romantic dates or really trying to get into uh, the dating scene, someone who is not awakened, it's not, there's going to be friction. Of course, because our our goals and mission are completely different. Uh, going to my third question, do you have a mission to service others? Typically, we're here to service uh, ourselves, essentially. Oh, our, our service to self to be successful or to be, you know, comfortable or content, right? To win a prize. No, no, no. Service to others, meaning you're on a mission. You know your mission, and you want to complete that mission. And I know my mission, and I and I know that my twin flame out there has a similar mission. And, you know, being together, and this is the next question, question number four, do you want to be in a power couple? I know that being a power couple will help us play the game really hard and achieve our mission, because I'm playing soft right now. I'm very inconsistent. And I believe my twin flame will help me be more consistent. And I hope you guys want me to be consistent, consistent, be more relevant. Uh, that brings me to my fifth question. Do you feel like a star? Since I can remember as a child, I, I felt this innate star quality within me that's so unexplainable. And I've asked many of my friends if they feel like they feel it. And they don't. They don't have that 
sensation within them. Like it's literally like a dim star and it's, it needs to just come out. Okay. Essentially we're all stars. Just, I feel like I, 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 I'm, I'm ready to be that star that you guys want me to be. And I don't mean like, oh, I want fame and fortune. No, I want, because I know how fan bases work. Fan base, I know how this universe or this reality works. So it's going to be a different type of paradigm or a different type of relationship that I have. But that's second-handed. My first is just to be a star for you guys and to really uh, share who I am with you. And, of course, with with my twin flame, <laughs> please, let's be a power couple. I hope you feel like a star. Um, not that I'm dissing people who are ordinary or normal. No, I love you guys. You definitely ground me and help me uh, remind myself of my mission, of course. Okay, uh, question number six. Are you ready to commit? Uh, that's a really hard one because... I'm like I told you, you guys, I'm inconsistent, I'm a Pisces, I'm fickle, I'm somewhat unreliable. However, I am ready to commit. Like, I am just so, like, tired of not committing. And I've noticed this because I've been meditating on it. And I haven't learned much Japanese because I'm not committed in what I'm doing. And I'm thinking of the future and I'm thinking of where I'm going, where it's like now in the present, I'm living in Japan. So study Jap Japanese. Uh, be committed to being a Japanese citizen. Commit to being an English teacher. Commit to who you are as an individual in this hologram, in this reality. Commit. And this video is going to help me commit. Because uh, if I find you and you find me, oh, it's on, right? Like, it's going to be an unstoppable force. And I can't wait. Okay, next question. Uh, do you feel confident? And I don't mean arrogant. Confident. I need someone to be confident. I'm a very confident person. And I'm not saying that you need to be an extrovert. No, I just need you to have confidence in yourself. Because if you know who you are, and you know where you come from, then there should be this natural confidence within you. You can be quiet, right? I don't mind. I'm a Pisces. I can... I can deal with silence and I can like, you know, I thrive off of silence, really. People don't know that, but, you know, I am more of a listener and more of an observer than a speaker and a talker. Uh, but I need confidence because, you know, living in a world where you're shy and timid is, is by all means, for me, uh, unhealthy because you're not really sharing your authentic self. Maybe your authentic self is very shy, but if you're shy, you're really, you have these constructs and limits in your mind that are limiting you from doing what you want or to do or to be what you want in this lifetime. Uh, when I say that, <laughs> I'm, I love fashion, right? And I should be making another video in regards to this. However, I like to make fashion statements no matter where I am. And let me tell you, I grew up in Texas, and I still had fashion statements there. Uh, very conservative uh, place to be at, being who I am, being what I am, you know, and uh, my passion for fashion. And now I live in Japan, which is still a conservative country, and I'm doing me, right? And I'm sharing that with Japanese people. So sometimes I wear outlandish or very, like, gender fluid fashion and I need someone to be confident either to do the same with me or to up me or to be there and support me and vice versa you know what I mean like I don't need someone to like go and be like oh do not wear that because I'm not going to go out with you or do not wear that because people are going to stare at you and they're going to think you're like why are you doing this you're ridiculous blah 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 this you know all these constructs limiting beliefs I need someone to be confident Yes, oh my gosh, I know that was a good one. Mm, okay, next question. Uh, do you know the game being played? I think that I touched on this a couple, of, a couple of questions back. Uh, there's a game being played, of course. We're in a three-dimensional, fourth dimension. 
reality and there's a game being played. Uh, if you are awakened and you know who I am and you know where I come from, then you know which side I am. That's obvious. And I really want to just go hard and play this game. And I'm ready. You know, and it's not that I'm scared to not to play the game by myself. Um, I have thought about, you know, playing the game really hard by myself. I want to, and maybe I have to do it to show my twin flame that I am capable of doing it. Because maybe that's one of your qualifications. To go hard or go nothing. Uh, or go home. And I really want to go home. I really want to go home, but I want to go, like, hard as well. Like, to play the game. So, yeah. And so the last question, and I think it's a really important question, and it, and it might be a trigger question, so watch out, you guys. But do you have any fears? So if you answer no to this question, then you are perfect for me, and I am perfect for you, and I am what you've been looking for, and you are what I've been looking for, or what we are each other. I know that one is so scary and it's been taking me and it's and it's I'm not saying I don't have fears no I don't have any fears I there are sometimes they do creep back in my mind but it's not like something that it's actually like a fear you know no mm -mm. so that's the application uh, number the last one we can probably uh, negotiate <laughs> Um, we can probably negotiate the last question. Uh, but if you answer no, then I, th I think we're going to be amazing to one another. Oh, I just, I can't believe I'm putting this video out there to you guys. I'm just like so nervous. I don't know what the reaction will be. Uh, I might sound desperate and I might be desperate. I mean, I am kind of like tired of like, you know, trying to meet people and it's not working out and it's like, fuck, I should, I can't bleep that out or whatever. Um, but yeah, and this video is longer than I expected. Uh, so if you have any questions or if you want to negotiate one of these questions, which I don't think I'm going to negotiate unless the, uh, unless the last one, I think the last one I will negotiate. But definitely um, message me. Oh my gosh, please message me, of course. And we'll see where it goes. Yay. Uh, so until later, I will feel you later.